Hello, I'm Tony Perkins, President of the Family Research Council here in Washington, D.C. One of the core principles driving our mission is that God is the supreme author of life. Unless we defend the value and sacredness of every life, at all stages, we risk the very foundation of civilized society. Unfortunately, this is already happening in the scientific field commonly known as stem cell research. In the next few minutes, we want to tell you about two types of stem cell research one that fails to help people and destroys human life in the process, and another kind that really works in providing cures and treatments while respecting the dignity of the human person. Stem cell research, beyond hype to real hope. It's not hard to see that this is human life. Barely visible to the naked eye, these images look like you and me before we were born. But this is another look at life, the human embryo. Fully alive from the instant of conception, we all looked just like this when the wonder of creation unfolded in our mother's womb. Just like you and I are adult human beings, this is an embryonic human being. The protection of the law and certainly the ethical concerns of our culture should and have always extended to all human beings. But now, some scientists want to manipulate and destroy human embryos to harvest their stem cells. They hope that this might help them find cures. They might not look like much, but stem cells are building blocks of the body. They have a remarkable capacity to replace or heal damaged tissues and cells. Certain stem cells are found in human embryos. But harvesting embryonic stem cells requires destruction of embryos. Some scientists want to artificially create new human embryos in the laboratory using a process called somatic cell nuclear transfer, or SCNT. It's another name for cloning, the same technique that created Dolly the sheep. During the SCNT process, the nucleus, or DNA of a cell, is removed and then transferred into a human egg. This creates a cloned embryo. With a spark of electricity, the new embryo begins developing but the cloned embryo is only allowed to live long enough to be destroyed for its stem cells. Now, some scientists want to create thousands, even millions of cloned human embryos for the sole purpose of destroying them for their cells. It's like harvesting a crop from a field. We hear a lot about embryonic stem cells in the news, but listen closely and you'll discover the real successes. After 25 years of research with embryonic stem cells, mouse and human, uh, there's very little evidence that embryonic stem cells are effective in treating disease and repairing tissue. In the meantime, there are thousands of patients who have been successfully treated with their own adult stem cells. These stem cells are called adult stem cells. They're found throughout the body in places like our bone marrow, skin, even umbilical cord blood from newborn babies that is often tossed away after birth. Adult stem cells are already being used to treat or heal people of all ages suffering from terrible diseases and injuries. People like Jackie Raybon. Jackie was an outstanding athlete who dreamed about playing college volleyball. That all changed when a tragic car accident fractured her spine. Doctors told her she'd never walk again. Uh, it's like losing a part of you, like losing a family member. It's like, it's that, it's that traumatic, I think. Then she learned about a groundbreaking new treatment. Adult stem cells taken from her own nose were used to help repair and regenerate tissues in her spine. Today, with the help of braces, Jackie walks, something doctors thought would be impossible. Now, Jackie is spreading the word about the real promise and hope of adult stem cell research and therapy. Well, adult stem cell, I mean, it's from your own body. There's no, you're not harming anybody for it. I mean, you're healing yourself. So I think that's, that's awesome if you can heal yourself. But with the embryotic, you're using somebody else's life to heal yourself. And I think that that's wrong, that you shouldn't have to hurt somebody else to help you. Adult stem cell research and therapy helps thousands of patients suffering from a variety of diseases and injuries. This is a story often lost or misrepresented by the news media to the public. When they hear about the promises and the hope of stem cell research, that's true. But they need to remember the takeaway point is that the real successes that we're seeing are in adult stem cell research. So just because this embryo was young 
and small doesn't mean it's not a human being. And we want to respect and protect particularly the weakest, the youngest, the smallest. Those are the ones which need our protection the most. So we can't forget they're human beings and certainly their weakness is no excuse to exploit them. Now that you know more about stem cell research, share this knowledge with friends and family. Tell local, state, and federal lawmakers you fully support adult stem cell research, but you do not and cannot support cloning or the destruction of human embryos. Together, let's protect the dignity of the human person, build up the family, and support cutting-edge research that really works.